Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing the version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the 7 DRL Challenge. The 7 DRL Challenge is the 7 day roguelike challenge. It challenges developers to make a game in 7 days. That's a roguelike. I've been playing all of the games that are in this jam for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out further. All my info will also be in the description so you can check me out as well on various social medias. This video, as always, is brought to you by the lovely people on Patreon who support me each month so I can continue to record so many indie games and game jams. If you like any of the content that I create, whether it be articles or podcasts or this, consider supporting me for like a dollar a month. It really helps. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites. There are a lot of games entering this jam, and that'll be over on Big Boss Battle, so keep an eye out for that. Next. We're playing Gauntlet Rogue. Welcome to Gauntlet Rogue, a 7 DRL 2018 non-profit parody roguelike. Move with number pad or WSD pad. Um, center of movement pad shoots in current direction. Run into enemies to melee them. Space bar to use potion. Click to begin. Oh, I clicked on a hero. I picked this one. I just kind of want to wait. Oh, I fired off as well. So I feel like we're doing alright, except they can attack us at an angle. There's a lot of enemies. I'm gonna go this way. Just melee all of them. Oh yeah, I'm really not doing well because there's like bad guys on both sides of me. But I mean the game does have a lot of bad guys. It also has roast chicken. Oh, we've gone the wrong way. It's intense. <laughs> Where are all of you coming from? Like, look at this wall. Like, that's just all enemies. <laughs> Next. We're playing Rogue Hack. I know it says one shot here, but the name of the game on the game's page is Rogue Hack, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay. Oh, so I'm this character in red. Let's go see Mega Man. Who this is? Uh, Chief. There are usual suspects. All right. You lose. Oh wait, I didn't. I didn't know I was accusing anyone. I thought I was getting more information. I'm just gonna refresh real quick. There we go. All right, so suspects. We're gonna go talk to him, I suppose, because the chief isn't gonna give us information. I was drinking at a bar. Okay. Which bar? Do you have any other information? Is it this bar? What is the case even? I was drinking at the bar. Well, if only we could ask them to co collaborate the other person drinking at the bar. This place has a bar. Hmm, can you go out the door? Probably not. This seems quite unfinished, but it's a good start. Next. We're playing Jam King's Big Bash. Let's play. Oh, this looks cool. Alright. So do I just keep moving? What if I want to move you? I'm done with you. You're fine. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Oh, a little slime only moves one. You move tons. Alright, I guess we'll go back to here. Hmm. It says this is a lot like chess, and I'd have to agree. But I'm not sure how to move the map or where our end goal is. Ah, okay. I think I just killed one of my team members. So I'm going to kind of keep these guys together. Oh, nice try. I think some queen killed me. Swell, okay. Let's read the story. Hail to thee, Princess King, the most kick-butt Princess King in all the land. You remember last week when that fool, the big dumb jam king, stood up 
uh, stood you up for the annual Super Mega Ultra Dance Battle. What the what? Not only that, but the Dingleberry didn't even invite you to his sweet birthday party, which will now be whack because you're not attending. He is a butt. A cute butt. A cute, cute butt. But sometimes butts need kicking. You knew someone who'd kick butt. So I like this whole idea of it being very much like chess. Alright, those people are dead. Good. However, I think more of you guys need it. Well, slime is quite a bit. Let's unselect you. How do we unselect you? There we go. I want you to go quite far. I like the fact that they only attack in chest movements and like their... I know it's not like traditional chest movements, but in their sort of area. Let's... Let's unselect you. Let's select. No, I don't. I don't, I don't want to select you anymore. Bam, 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 bam. Oh no. Well, that's okay. My whole party's here. All right. So let's let's select you. Well, let's get rid of one of us first. Once you start playing, it makes a whole lot of sense. I need to unselect you, that's the issue. And then maybe, maybe, nope, deselect, deselect. You're not helpful. There we go. Deselect, select. Cool. Oh wow, they killed off a lot of my team. Next. We're playing Blood Crypt. Click the white square to move, click red square to attack, arrow keys or mouse, okay. I'm liking this main menu, it looks really epic. There we go. Death. I need to kill you as well. I dropped one gold. Good. Can we, can we attack the candle? No, let's move our vision around. Sure. Oh, it's like a new tile came down. I, don't know, I was saying kind of stay for a turn. Yeah. I need to be better about choosing the times. There's an apple. Can I eat it? No. Crunchy fruit. Delicious. I could eat it. Okay, good. I guess because there's a tree that way we should go this way. Oh, is that a wall though? No, no, we can go through it. There we go. Go forward. Look at a delicious apple. There's also a book. It's me. Hi. Health is eight with an attack of one. Okay. Can I read the book? From all having it falls. Alright, so I don't think we can quite go around this. I'm liking the way that the dungeon builds. Next. Wait, what does this do? Ooh, different viewpoints. Ooh. Cool. Next. We're playing Dimlet. Alright, uh, let's do easy, because we're not very good. You were shunned by darkness. Build more light. This is the last structure. You need to build more to survive. Collect crystals, build up the base, and avoid groods. You can't kill them yet. Some structures need power provided by power structures. If a structure is dark, it's not functioning. Arrows to move space to build. Charged glow suit. Okay. Is that a crystal? Kiwi, it's okay. Alright, well we got some crystals. I would like to charge on cooldown. I'd like to build more stuff. Alright, maybe I need more crystals. That's okay. I can get more crystals. We'll just keep grabbing them. It's pitch black, you're likely to be eaten. Oh no, I think we, we were eaten. I didn't realize. Okay. So do I need like a certain number of crystals? Well, I'm only picking up like one or two crystals, whereas before I got like 16 the first one I picked up. Alright, so we've got about 20%. We probably need to recharge, so let's go in and do that. Oh, you can build a structure. Let's do a beam. Okay, so now I've got like a little walkway. 
That's cool. We also need to like charge our glow suit. Mm, good. So this will help us sort of get out further without using up our glow suit too much. Eventually we'll light up the whole area probably. Or start killing things. I heard growls. Well, that's not good. Is it mad that I've glown? Did I? Oh, oh. Let me bump into your glow suit, lost six power. Let's charge the glow suit. Let's build structures. I mean, I need to build more stuff. Uh, Infotech. Sure. Huh, something happened. We've been like moved and stuff. Gained info, lost infotech. Oh. Next. We're playing Trial of Warlock. Ah, room cleared. Ritual. Perform. Choose a sacrifice. Oh, I don't have a sacrifice. Ah, that's just me done. Okay, let's kill this then. Alright, now we get some stuff. We get a lightning wand or a rock wand. An item you will gain when you clear the room. I have cleared the room. Okay, next room. I don't think I understand. Fairy cage. An item you will gain. Just a rock, just a rock. Let's do ritual. Let's do caged fairy. And that. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't actually perform it. Why do you not? There you go. Have a weapon. <laughs> I want to do this one and this one. Perform. Oh. Okay. I should have probably read this side, but I didn't really. Uh, let's go. Oh, downstairs. You're dead. Ritual. So you used one. You sacrificed lightning wand. It transferred into rock wand. Rock wand. Okay. There you go. There's a lot of rocks here, so I guess rock wand is good. Here's a caged. Aww. <laughs> it's a little bird. Let's give you a rock wand. Alright, let's get rock wand. Let's kill off those. Oh, rock wand hit two people. Now I've got fire wand. Yeah, stop hurting me, caveman. A draining wand. Should probably use some stuff that's more powerful. Because we're not doing very good. Alright, let's do some rituals. Uh. Hmm. Next. We're playing Artifacts Gladi. A fencing seven day roguelike made by Paul's. Yeah, cool. Um, that's fine. The kingdom of Paul Ridsko, inhabited by rat folk and humans, has been struck by a revolution. Masses lusting for wealth and power, encouraged by agents of the neighboring empire of Twendum, started to spread a conflagration wider and wider. You are a noble rat and one of the victims of the revolution. Your neighbor, a human named Farwis, was suspect of performing anti-revolutionary deeds. You saved his life by hiding him in your house from the agents of the new power and by taking the blame on yourself. You were arrested and sentenced to a long imprisonment. They locked you in a scary prison, five floors under the ground. As a traditional punishment for traitors, your, your persecutors had your trial chopped off. Days and months were passing in darkness and depression. Today, your daily portion of bread, you found a key. It seemed to fit the door to your ward, and the opportunity to regain freedom appears. Press N for normal difficulty. <laughs> yes. Items. Alright, I'm gonna pick up stale bread. This looks like just puke. Pick up my key. Tight area. Okay, what's... Alright. Am I just fighting with a key? Because... Back to your ward. No. Alright, yeah, let's pick this up. Need to use. Okay. I have a sword. I have no idea where my health is, but you know. Die. Alright, I think I'm gonna eat some. Oh, choose a new trait. Potion of instant buddy at your feet seems. Yeah, it seems to be sympa sympathically towards you. Break the bottle to release buddy fighting on your side. Let's pick up that. Alright, press enter to acquire. Increase your health. 
Let's increase my health and let's pick that up. I'm just going to prison level, player level. I don't know where my... I'm just... One. Eha. I can't see my health, which scares me, but, you know. These just dead ends. We'll go this way. Ah, ah now I can see my health. Is that better? Eight damage. How much money is eight damage? Yeah, the same. Exactly the same. Okay. I'd like to go up a level. Yeah, that's cool. How do I... Okay, shift and comma. Oh, that's not... Okay, shift. Cool. Alright, tight area minus one. Let's back up into here if it's a tight area so I get minus one. Okay, death. That's still eight, so that's fine. I don't care about that. I'm in a tight area. So let's back up a bit. Getting hit by both of them though. Wounded. Alright, let's do two. Need to use. Oh, I died anyway. Darn it. Didn't last that long at all. My buddy's helping out quite a bit. Next. We're playing Son of Yonder. Um, you suddenly become self-aware. An adventure wanders down your stairs. Play. Oh, so it's kind of just moving. Pause. Tiles. Floor tile. Oh, hmm. So, I am the dungeon. So let's do deep water. Alright, so I've lost some power. And let's do, I don't know, some grass here. I don't know what grass will do. Let's hit play. Okay, I probably want to put stairs. Try, I don't have enough power. Alright, maybe a wall. Well, I've just been too, a wall on top of a wall, which isn't good. Do some shallow water. Walk in shallow water, good to know. I don't really know how to gain any more power back. I was supposed to like kill him, but I don't know how. So I've obviously reset it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna put wall, 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 wall. I don't have the power. So he's just stuck there. Can we make deep water? Is he gonna drown? What's this? I feel like that is that's tiles. Okay, menu traps. Oh, there were traps. Ah, oh. cool. Um, where's the adventure? Adventure's there. Let's put let's do pit there, pit there, a pit there. There's pits. Adventure, how did you get out of a pit? How much health does he have? So we need to do stone block. Pit. We just need to put down loads of traps. We don't have enough power, really. That makes sense, though. It's kind of interesting being the dungeon as opposed to the player. Next. We're playing super hot like. Oh. You were killed by an enemy. Okay. I think what I'm meant to do is do this. No. How do I use shots rotate nine degrees clockwise? How do I shoot someone? Just shoot, use the button in the center of the arrow keys. Well I did that and it didn't work. Okay. So it says hit this ass, and then hit up, but then I die. So there's like nothing I can do about it. So my shots just rotate enemies. But I move into them when I... I don't think it quite works. Because it says I should hit S. To shoot, use the button in the center of the arrow buttons and select where to shoot at. But I always move. Oh, well, that one moved. 
Oh. Okay, this was my bad. I'm supposed to, like, click the tile. Okay. Okay. I really shot this turn. There was no way I could have moved, but you know. So enemies are supposed to have three health. Cool. But I also don't know if my own fire hurts me, so. Okay, that should be enough. There you go. Cool. You died as a little friendly fire. Of course I did. Alright, so once you get the hang of it, <laughs> once you understand that, you don't just click the arrow. Alright, cool. Next. We're playing Eldritch RL. Yeah, new game. Cool. So we've got a weapon. You picked up one branch. You can't see through the shadows. Okay. You can't. Oh, uh, well. See, we're all covered in moss. And a rusty knife. So we've got some branches and some knives. Hmm. Okay. We can enter to select an item. Alright, so let's go into our inventory and let's select an item. Um, let's equip it. Cool. And then we're done in our inventory. That's fine. Um, zoom in camera out of this whole map. Oh. So are we trapped. I don't think. Don't do that unless you're lost or curious. Well, I did. But I'm kind of stuck. So I might just. Reset. So I just don't think that I can break the map, basically. I'm going to equip a wooden branch. How do we equip something? Enter to select, escape, close inventory, mouse click, the works main menu, I escape, enter to select an item, equipped. Wandered rat with wooden branch, rat was dead. Okay. You can't see through the shadows. Just killing some rats and collecting some branches. I mean, our health points aren't bad. Let's just kill you. All right, inventory. Let's well, inventory. Let's equip that because uh, I feel like rusty blades are much better. My health is at max, which is good. This also a rusty blade. No, okay. Alright, so now that we're not stuck in like a corner, this is pretty good. Uh, I don't know what we're doing with all these, these branches, but you know, I'm grabbing them anyway. We've got a lot of stuff. Lots of knives, lots of branches. Weird, the things that people leave in the forest. Branches and knives. Next. Next. 